Blog Talk Radio. Rockers and Recovery Media is dedicated to carrying the message of addiction recovery through music, news, events, and festivals taking place within and not limited to the clean and sober community. Hey, hey, good morning. John Hollis with Waking Up Bless here at Rockers and Recovery Radio. I welcome everybody to the show this morning. We had a great uh, time down at World Sober Music Day uh, this past weekend. And I uh, want to uh, give a shout out to Paul and C4 and the rest of the gang. They held that uh, in Pompano Beach, also uh, up there in Nashville. And they have another one that was uh, scheduled for South Carolina, which was rescheduled for November. But those guys will be on tomorrow and are going to be talking about that. Uh, today we have our sponsor on the show. Sober Map App took the shot with Waking Up Blessed. Back at the beginning part of the year, and of course, uh, John P. and the rest of the gang, they uh, made it uh, where they could uh, help us to uh, carry a message of hope, and of course, uh, we do that each morning here, 9 a.m. to 9.30, Monday through Friday, waking up blessed. Uh, There are a couple of, uh, uh, you know, things that we have to do periodically, Uh, our co-founder, Maury Sullivan is uh, dealing with, uh, uh, of course, uh, breast cancer, and we do uh, go in with Lori on her scheduled chemo visits right now, which uh, this Thursday we will be doing a uh, a rebroadcast uh, because we will be dealing with uh, Lori's chemo. So, that being said, Monday through Friday, you can catch us right at Rockers and Recovery at 9 a.m. Just click on the Listen Live button. And the day of the show is right there. You can listen to it. Of course, uh, John P. is a great guy. He's been around a, a long, long time. And he uh, is somebody that uh, I have had a lot of respect for, not only his recovery, but the mission that he set forth uh, to put together a sober map. And, you know, that being said, you know, when you do an undertaking like this, it's, it's not something that just comes easy. You know, it's something that, you know, you have to work on day after day after day and upgrades and all kinds of different things that happen with the online app that they built. And Silver Map app is a free app that you can actually download to your phone through the App Store or Google Play. Uh, all you have to do is, is open the app and you'll see meetings close to you. You tap on it, you get the directions to the meeting, and the Silver Map app indicates the times of the meetings, types of meetings language at the meetings, uh, phone numbers, and, of course, it, it's very easy to navigate. Uh, Silver Map has uh, an anonymous feature also, and we're going to talk to John about that, and some other things that they've been doing. Uh, John, welcome to the show. Thank you for being on Waking Up Blessed. Great. It's great to be here there, John. Thanks for asking me to be on the show today. Appreciate it. Love what you're doing. You know, it's, it's, it's a beautiful day. Any day we get to... Uh, uh, hang out and be a part of uh, of life, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Whether you have uh, one eye or two eyes, it's good to open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the... <laughs> <And don't just laughs> <go for that. laughs> Especially when you have to look out and see bars in front of you. Whether it's uh, hey, hey. A, a bar that you buy a drink or, or a bar where you locked up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know something? Those those crispy mornings waking up underneath of the bottom bunk at uh, Metro Dade was never a healthy feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's where you practice yoga, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So that being said, you know, here you have uh, – mm-hmm. um, your recovery, your personal recovery, a very long way, and, and helping others, and just being there to support, not just, you know, you know, guys like me with, you know, waking up blessed and what you've done for us, um, but on top of that, all you do for other folks, and you do it through, through like, sober math and other things that you do, but let's talk about the upgrades and what is happening with sober math, mm-hmm. because when you started, you know, a year and a half ago with us, it was really primarily just in Florida, and there was, you know, just some beta testing going on, and you were, like, looking for people to give you feedback. What's been going on, and how's it grown? 
Well, we, we received um, all the feedback from the users, which was really helpful. We're going to continue to do that over uh, the next months and years ahead. And the feedback we got is, one, uh, obviously people want to see this in more states and, and more geography. The, the map itself uh, opens up in anywhere you are. Um, but we, we have expanded from Florida into Texas and into New York and into Mexico, unusually, and also Central America. Those are areas that I travel a lot, so I obviously personalize it to make sure I go to meetings wherever I, I travel. Um, now, the, the upgrade coming in October is all about enabling the ability to scale it uh, for the rest of the country and the rest of the globe. And not only including meetings like AA, which we are predominantly right now, but it's going to include NA meetings, SA meetings, CA meetings, uh, all the type of meetings out there that we have in the recovery community. And uh, the idea is to be able to become the, um, the global community recovery app where people can connect at any time to, to group. Um, and as you know, John, the, uh, the most, I mean, the, the many things that, uh, in sobriety you need to do to maintain a, a healthy recovery lifestyle. One is doing the 12 steps. I mean, that is, you know, fundamentally important. Um, but, but secondly, and, and maybe as important there, is uh, getting connected to groups, mm. whether it's uh, uh, any type of 12-step group, and belonging to, to something, right, that's more important than, than you, right, getting outside yourself, helping others, working with others, being around like-minded uh, people, and uh, in a sense, group therapy, right? Yeah. And yeah. If, you're, if you work as hard as we all do nowadays, um, it, it's it's a challenge to to do that, and, and having a technology. And I've worked in technology all my career, but having a technology that you you open up an app and you immediately know where you are and the meetings around you that you can go to and you can reach out with and participate with. Uh, that's what it's going to do. So you open the app and immediately show where you are and all the type of meetings out there you can go to. Um, but we'll also uh, enable you to. Uh, reach out to other users anonymously as well in group formats. Uh, so that's oh, really cool. something we feel is going to be really pretty, pretty cool for them. So you can create your own groups within, within the app itself. You'll also have an option to be able to integrate it into the SoberMath app uh, Facebook page so you can uh, uh, openly then communicate with people within a closed group environment, or you can do it anonymously within, within the app. Um, those, those are a type of features people were really very interested in having, and, and we're making sure that this next launch, that's going to happen. Um, and a lot of things were done in the database, so a lot of work was done behind the scenes in order to be able to enable this to scale at the level that we, we wanted to. Um, but uh, a lot more will be coming down the road with it. Um, we're excited about it, and what we like to do is see get the more and more people uh, giving us feedback to see what we do best way. The idea is to drive it where the user um, it, it is having control of the app and doing what it wants that the individual wants to do and access, not the other way around. A lot of times you get uh, apps, especially in recovery, they're kind of dictating you to do things, right? Mm -hmm. And and this is all about you, the individual, being able to participate in the groups like you'd like to and have access to them in, in an anonymous way or open way. Yeah. John, i got a question. For you. And, and I think the interactive part of this, you know, is very interactive. But there's going to be other special features to it also. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we had talked at one time where – people will be able to engage like, you know, like live broadcasts like this or live, you know, events that might be going on, may they be conferences or, or other things. I mean, so it's going to be like a really like a media platform where people can actually engage in a lot of different activities. Uh, absolutely. Uh, one of the other components was, and that starts with the, the work we had to do behind the scenes. Uh, was not only enabling all the different 12 set groups, but enabling the, the media component, uh, going to conventions, uh, part, uh, integrating with the rockers in, in recovery, uh, concerts, um, different conferences out throughout the, the world, uh, different 
meditation things, yoga, uh, to different tools that we use in, in recovery uh, to get healthier. Um, but but expre- really kind of expanding recovery uh, uh, knowledge, right, and, and participation. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was looking Absolutely. at the numbers. As you know, uh, I was looking, interesting enough, in the U.S., you have uh, about 3 million people a year going for, for example, treatment of, of, of alcohol, right? into treatment mm-hmm. centers. Um, but there's only 1.3 million active members of AA, right? Huh. And there's yeah. something like 600,000 active members of, of NA. So there's a real missing number there, right? If you think about it, it's 30 million people every 10 years going to treatment, and you have 1.3 million active members. And I really think a, a big part of that is not, uh, you know, not getting involved in, in people who are like you. That in recovery, they're looking for the best thing to do as a group and as an individual. And uh, that's what we're doing, whether it's entertainment, media, conferences, conventions, other groups and other areas, other people like-minded. It's building that kind of community. Uh, Because those numbers are really, uh, especially within opiate addiction, right? Mm. Yeah, it's scary. I think the opiate, it's terrible. The first the first year after treatment, 93% of the people on opiates go back out, right? And, and those numbers are scary. Uh, and I really right. think that group you know, therapy is a big component of that, right, to help that. Yeah, and I, and I think you're absolutely right. I think that, you know, if you can include something where, you know, somebody can, you know, they have, the, um, they have that app now where you can actually, uh, you know, go and, and do, do therapy. Um, the therapy app. I can't right. remember the name. Of it right now. But if you like, you engage stuff like that into this, where you know there's enough firewalls and, and, and security between, the, you know, all the HIPAA laws and all that stuff, where you can, you know, get on and and do therapy on this too. I mean, that's like it, it's like so open to really build and go in directions that are going to be huge. Yeah, yeah, and with the with the foundation being. It would be the global app where you can open up and find a meeting in any type of community you want to. And that's going to be what fundamentally is the most important thing. So it it gives you access to many different things is, you know, participating in in the recovery world, right? You know, they just said recently, and of course they've they've been talking about this for a while, that there's like 23 million Americans um, that are Mm -hmm. in long-term recovery. And, you know, you right. bring up a valid point because 23 million Americans in long-term recovery, not all of them are going through the 12-step process with that either. So I think that when you look at that number as a whole, mm-hmm. how many people um, are trying and failing? There's hundreds of millions of people that try every day right. and fail mm-hmm. or or just don't come back because they failed. So this gives them kind of that anonymous thing too, where they can get on and feel a little bit more comfortable and then maybe make a physical meeting somewhere. If they feel comfortable with this on the anonymous platform, then they can, you know, eventually, you know, say, you know, something, I'm going to go make a meeting and they can find that right there too. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And that, uh, you know, and once uh, if people start really participating, that that's when you, you see the change. So if that mm. helps people get into to meetings in an anonymous way, because a lot of people, you know, there's still a stigma out there, right? And right. people, uh, and, and I, I think that that stigma still is, is what keeps people out there for longer than they should. It's the ego, the feeling that I'm I don't want to be different. I want to be part of the, everybody else, and and that that keeps you out there. So if this helps you bring you you into it, uh, the changes in life are, are are just enormous. I mean, one thing, the biggest change probably was uh, the drop of my legal fees. Right? <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> but yeah, I think the only friends I lost were lawyers, right? But the, um, but you know, twenty eight years married, right? Um, Congratulations. And living in the day, right? Living in the day. Uh, my, my days are a lot, feel like a lot shorter, and, and, and which is great because the uh, I used to live in a night. Now I, I live in a day. And mm. it's just simple pleasures in life all of a sudden abound you. And your, your, uh, your anxiety gets – I mean, 
the, the anxiety, depression, all those things, uh, you, you may be a little different. You may have other factors there in life, um, but you may have a much greater awareness of who you are, right? And you just participate in life and, and enjoy life a lot more. And, but it's hard getting people into that world, right, to see that. Right? And uh, that's what we hope this app uh, is doing as well. You know, it's a, it's a cool thing. You know, recovery as a process is a very cool thing. And if you're tuning in this morning, we're talking with uh, John P. from Silver Map. Um, of course, you can go to Silver Map app uh, on either the App Store or Google Play. Just put in Silver Map. Either the App Store or Google Play will come right up. You can download it to your phone and uh, start uh, getting interactive and giving John some feedback on what you think of the app. But most importantly, one of the things I want to talk to you about this morning, too, before we uh, get off mm-hmm. the phone with John, is the fact that, you know, something over time, you know, I wasn't invited to many things when I was out there, John. You know what I mean? They weren't calling me up and inviting <laughs> me to family weddings, that's for sure. And I can tell you that the community wasn't inviting me to many things either, unless it was a court hearing. So that being said, I, you know, I got the opportunity to go down to, uh, and was invited to go down and speak at the World Sober Music Day down in Pompano. And, uh, you know, I want to thank you guys for supporting that, but also the live, you know, the live event that we, you know, we did for, for Waking Up Blessed and RIR Radio. You guys, are, you know, sponsored that uh, transmission. We appreciate that. And but one of the things that I wanted to say is like again, those things didn't happen when I was using. Those things didn't even happen in early recovery. You know, people were running. You know, um, so the reality of life today to have things like that happen, and and I got to tell you, I was I was like so honored. I was telling Lori about your advisory board and. Can you talk to us a little bit about that and what's going on with that? Oh yeah, what we're doing is we're building a uh, a, a board, a, an advisory board within SoberMap, and uh, we are very grateful to have the opportunity to to have you uh, be part of that, and, and thanks for accepting that. Um, it, this is going to be including uh, a lot of people from our community. And also mm-hmm. giving us advice on how to to do this in, in the right way and help the most people, and uh, so that um, it's something that we, we just formed and and having your advice as being part of that, uh, it, it's a pleasure and, and important for us because your experience, uh, strength and hope um, will, will lend a lot to to what we're doing. So appreciate that. You know, we I appreciate being asked. I mean, you know, it was an honor. I was like blown out of my socks when you asked me, and you know, it's uh, it's very cool to be, uh, uh, you know, to have appreciation go back and forth. And I think that's what happens in more in our in our lives today is we forget that appreciation goes back and forth. And I appreciate a lot that you have done, you know, just in building this and getting it out there, and want to be there and support it. And you, the same way, the appreciation coming back of, you know, what you guys wanting to support rockers in recovery, that's how things work, man. Um, Absolutely. That's how life yeah. works. You know, and, and you don't have to be in recovery to be that way. That's how normal people behave. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that, that you, know, you know, you take out all the egos, you strain out all the crap. It's about one thing. It's about helping the masses. And if we can do that together with advisory boards, concerts, festivals, you know, conferences, silver map, you know, that's what we're supposed yeah. to be doing, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. It's about growing, giving back, participating, enjoying life, reaching out, mm-hmm. getting outside of yourself. Uh, and that's what this is all about. And, and that's what you're doing. And that's what this app is intended to do. And, uh, again, it's been a. Uh, it's going to be great to have you part of the advisory board. Really appreciate that. Well, I appreciate and we being asked. We also need the the rock component too. That's important. I love rock music. I <laughs> that that to me is also an important piece. So got to make sure we keep on rocking. <laughs> yeah, I, and you know something. You know what we're going. Through, you know we're going through the whole thing with Lori. And we, me and Lori have been talking about um, 
Yeah. You know, the whole two, 2019 thing, we have uh, some scheduled stuff from May already and some other things that will be formally announced. But I got to tell you, you know, it was, you know, God has his own plans for everybody. It's how it works, man. And if you, you know, back in, in, in January and February, um, you know, we weren't scheduling anything. And we were really just concentrating on the media aspect getting back to our roots with Rockers and Recovery Radio and all of that. And, you know, when she was diagnosed in April with breast cancer, it basically, if we had scheduled a bunch of stuff for 2018, it would have just been a circus. So we're really glad that we just like laid back and like, oh, do this job. And this is what happens, you know, things like this. Beautiful That's things right. start to transpire. So, John, I want to thank you for being on Waking Up Blessed this morning. And before we leave, what does Waking Up Blessed mean to you? Uh, Waking Up Blessed to to me uh, means waking up and and feeling that the day in front of you was just as good as the day behind you. And uh, that, that to me, is something I found in in recovery, that every single day I wake up, uh, I feel as if the day in front of me is going to be just as good as the, the day I had uh, behind me. And that's what, what recovery provides you. And also that, that uh, being blessed also means taking, taking an action. That for me to have the life I have today, I have to continue to reach out and look for somebody. And that's what I do every morning when I, after I pray and meditate. I said, who can I reach out to today? Right? Wow. And uh, that to me is uh, being blessed means also taking action. Right? John, thank you so much. Sober Map. Check it out at the App Store and Google Play. Download it. Give these guys some feedback. They want to hear your feedback. Again, Sober Map yeah. app. It's free at App Store and Google Play. Check them out. John, thank you again for your support of Rockers You're Recovery welcome. and Waking Up Blessed. And we will definitely be following up as uh, things uh, begin to evolve even further. Absolutely. And love and prayers to, to Lori. Thank you, sir. Thanks again. We will definitely be talking soon. All, right. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Thank you so much again for being a part of Waking Up Blessed here. September 18, 2018 with Sober Map app, our friend John V. And uh, you can download Sober Map app free at the App Store and Google Play. Please check them out and you know, be a part of. Uh, helping them to uh, build uh, their mission, and that's helping others, you know, using an app just like Yelp. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in and being a part of our world. And if you need to, uh, of course, uh, contact Rockers and Recovery. Uh, you can go to rockersandrecovery.com. You can listen live to the shows there. Uh, you can see the news feed, which is the homepage. And then the navigation buttons are real simple. There's the about contact media partners. Uh, if you want to become a part of waking up less to rockers and recovery or our events coming up, there's partnerships, radio and schedule live events and our newsletter, waking up less newsletter, which you can also click right there where it says newsletter and join the newsletter. I want to also uh, let you know that you can call 800 892 2603. That's 800 892 2603. If you'd like to speak with me or somebody else here at Rockers in recovery, and uh, you know, you can, uh, you know, if you just need to talk or if you have questions about the show or you'd like to be a guest or whatever it may be, give us a shout. And uh, we appreciate your time this morning. And with that, have a blessed day. Rockers and Recovery Radio is based on opinion only and is not meant to treat or diagnose any health or mental health issue of any kind. If you feel you need help for any health-related issues, please contact a physician or mental health professional. The opinions expressed by our guests are not necessarily those of Rockers and Recovery. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. 
Chumba. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumba. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.